Welcome to Electron Online. Our next 3D connection is the universal joint. And the universal joint is a very useful joint that allows the rotational motion of one axis to be transferred to the rotational motion of another axis. In this particular example, the axes are directly across from one another, but it is very possible to have a bend in that so that the rotational motion here can then be transferred to a rotational motion in a different direction as well. The way it's drawn here, there are three forces that are at play here. The universal joint typically is situated in such a way that the joint cannot move in either the x, the y, or the z direction. It's being held in place, so therefore forces can be at play in all three directions. So we have a, direction, we have a force that can be acting in the x direction, force of x. We have a force that can be acting in the y direction, f sub y. And we have a force that can be acting in the z direction, f sub z. So there's definitely a three-component force involved here. So make sure we make those into vectors, there we go. But also we can see that there is a rotational component here. If the axis on the left side is rotating, it is transferring that rotational motion to the axis on the right side. So therefore there's also a moment uh, created on the right side. So that's a moment in the x direction. So you can see there that if you put your thumb in the direction of the axis, you can see your fingers rotate in the direction of the moment. So any rotational motion here gets transformed uh, transferred in the rotational motion there and so there's a force applied to that particular axle. So now we have a three force component plus a moment created by this particular connection, the universal joint. On the next video you'll see that there's additional moments created if the second object or if the object being anchored cannot move or not rotate in various ways. So stay tuned and see how that works on the next example.